Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to show you this new battery I picked up. I have a 100 amp hour AGM battery that I want to replace and I decided to get an inexpensive lithium battery. Since they're both running right around $200, good idea is to go ahead and use the lithium if the price is about the same, which they are. So we're going to unbox this one. And I'll show you what comes in it, how well it's packed or not. We have a user's manual. Uh, take a look at it in a bit and see if it's... Uh... Yeah, we'll take a look at that after we get it all unboxed. Here is the battery itself. As you can see, it has lots of foam around it, and it seemed to be packed very well. We also have bolts to go into the terminals. This is a WISE battery, in case I had mentioned it before, but you can see that in the title. We're going to go ahead and pull it out. Gently toss the box away. And here it is. Take that plastic. As you can see, it says it's a wise battery, like I told you. Lithium ion phosphate, right? Okay. 12 volt, 100 amp hours, which is good. It has some inf interesting information on the front. They don't all do that. Some of the more inexpensive ones don't. But this one does. And it will tell you some very interesting things. It tells you what the voltage is, capability, of course. The watt hours, which is nothing more than the volts multiplied by the uh, capacity there. Your current charges all could be very interesting depending on where you're going to be using this and how you're going to be charging it. I'm going to be using it as backup for lights, and I'm only going to be charging it with solar. Except at first, now that we just got this, I'm going to charge it all up right before I test it. It says it's lightweight, which it really is. And we'll go through more of this information after uh, we get it all tested. But I wanted to show it to you. It did not come damaged. It shows you that the proper battery connections, if you want to do it in parallel or in series. And kind of instructions on how to do that, which is kind of neat. So let's look at it. I don't see any damage. Like I said, everything seems to be okay. Got the string. I'd rather have handles, but, you know, strings is pretty much what you get now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the manual real quick. Just to see if there's anything in it that's interesting. Table of contents. Tells you what your application could possibly be. Ten-year warranty. That's pretty good. Most of them you get three to five now. And it gives your basic information, same that's on the front of the battery. Charging tips would come in handy, especially when you, if you're setting up a charge controller to do this one, you want to set it up at 14.6. A lot of them come at 14.3. So you want to take a quick glance at this how to store the battery if you're not going to be using it, which does happen sometimes. And then again, how to set it up in parallel and how to set it up in series. Okay, so that's basically what's in the manual. I went somewhat slow, so if you're looking at this and you want to see the depth of discharge of it, you can simply... Replay the video and look where I had it open and pause it. And you can see right from here everything that's in the manual. And, of course, I'll read it a little later. All right, so what I'm going to do is charge it up. It's got these caps on it, which I'm going to go ahead and take off. And we've got our screws here. I picked Wise because not only does it have good ratings and a very good reputation, I have a small Wise Mini that I did 
a review on and was very impressed with. So since I had to replace a battery and I needed an inexpensive one, I went ahead and used another wise. So now we're going to test the state of voltage that has arrived. And it's at 13.6. Well, 13.63. One is jumping right around 13.6. So that's what we'll call it. I'm going to take a battery charger. Normally I'm going to charge this with solar. But for testing purposes, I am going to charge this up 100% before I test it. And then I will tell you the results of that testing and give you some more information on this battery. It is now charged. This is a, a battery charger from... Who is this one from? Power Queen. That's battery charger from Power Queen. Okay, we'll let this charge up. Then we're going to test it, and I'll let you know how that works out. All right, the battery has charged all the way up. You can see the green light is on, so we're going to take these off, these alligator clips. Next, what we're going to do is let the battery settle. It charged to 14.6, like the manual says, and now we're going to let it set for an hour or so to bring it to its just resting voltage. This is a Y, so that should be about 13.6. Some of these are 13.4, right in between 13.3 and 13.6. These ba lithium batteries will settle. We're going to wait for that to happen, and then we're going to set it up for our test. See you then. All right, we're back with our Y. I've brought it back up from the lab. It is past all the computer test, it has done the discharge test properly and has passed the capacity test very well. But as everyone knows watching my videos, I don't like doing just computer tests. I want to see how it works in real life with real things we're going to be using. Things such as fans, which is my favorite. I use two of them and they have motors, which is very important when you're testing these lithium batteries. Will they actually operate? So far, this battery has worked out very well. It has low temperature protection, which is important depending on where you live. Under voltage protection. All the standard things you would want. It's a, like I said, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery, which gives it what? 1280 watt hours. Which means it should run these two fans at... 100 watts for 10 to 12 hours. We say 10 to 12 because all inverters have some type of, you know, they're not perfect and they will cut off at a certain point. I'm using, in this case, a Jupiter Pure Sine Wave, 1000 watt. And this comes from Harbor Freight, by the way, uh, just because people like to know that. I have a kilowatt right in there that I'm about to turn on. When I turn on my power switch, it comes on, hooked into the inverter. That's good. Then the fans come on. They are at 65.1 watts. Let's turn that up. We are at over 100. Excellent. We're at 110 watts. I like that. We'll keep it a little bit over. And it should still do between 10 and 12 hours. And when the test is done, I'll come out again and we'll see how well it worked out. So far, like I said, this battery is working really well. And it has, according to the manual, a 10-year warranty. 10 years. I'll put a link for you to see it. And a link that will describe everything besides what I showed you looking in the manual, and see if this battery is good for you. So far, it's working extremely well, and we have begun our test. Double check, yes, 111, 110 watts, right where we want it at. Two older fans, 
which and these are just cheap Walmart pay, fans. They are not very efficient, which is also what I want because most people that watch my videos don't have a lot of money and can't afford really expensive things. But you could afford an inexpensive pure sine wave, an inexpensive battery like this one, not cheap. It is not built cheap. It's built very well. It's plastic, but you can see it is well put together. So, it is not cheap. It's just inexpensive. Like I said, I'll put a link. And dollar store power strip. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And two, I think they're Walmart fans. It might be dollar store fans for all I know. I've had them for years. All right, we'll let the test continue, and I will be back when the test is complete. Don't forget, by the way, if you like these type of videos and these reviews of inexpensive items, please like and subscribe and share if you know someone else that might. All right, see you back when the test is over. Shoestring back here, and our system has died, but it went well over the 10 hours. Therefore, it was a successful test. So what can we say? That the WISE battery passed the computer test and it passed our real life fan test. So yes, this battery works. It, set, it does all it says it can do. It also, I want to point out, has a 10 year warranty, which is really, really amazing for a battery at this price point, which is what, around $225, something like that. I'll put a link down there. It also has cold weather, low temperature uh, protection, which you normally find in batteries that cost a whole lot more. So, it's a good battery. I'm going to take it, and as I said, I've got an AGM battery that I'm replacing. I'm going to pop this in. So, I'm going to drop a link into this, into the description. Take a look. See if it's something you're interested in getting. You'll have all the details there. And as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Shoestring out.